Alberto Tofaili from University of São Paulo, Brazil, and I'm going to present Optical Vortex in Ferrocell, a comparative study. Well, we have presented some results of our experiment uh, of image formation using a device in which light is scattered by a thin film of ferrofluid subjected to an external magnetic field and compare them with the effect of an optical vortex. Here you can see some patterns obtained with ferrocell in C and D uh, for different configurations of magnetic fields. Red is South Pole and blue is North Pole. And these are the patterns obtained with the thin film of ferrofluid with uh, uh, illumination of LEDs. What is uh, optical vortex? Despite their appearance in, in all natural light fields, it was not until the early 90s that it was recognized that the surrounding light carried an angular momentum completely independent of the photon speed. And uh, this angular momentum can be created using simple lens systems or holograms. Like we can see here. We use this uh, system based in our lens to generate this optical vortex, as you can see here. And we obtained a general rule to create different uh, angular momentums for the, for the light injected in this lens. With this rules, we obtained the idea of a fairy sequence. Fairy sequence, as you can see here, we inject the light and light uh, describes these orbits like this or like this. And they are associated with star polygons trajectories. The dynamics of a uh, of a um, particle inside a circumference creates these trajectories of light forming uh, these star polygons and they obey this fiery sequence. And the patterns obtained in our experiment is like this. Another example of our optical vortex. And here we injected uh, light from the magnetic, from the uh, ferrocell here in our system. Here without magnetic field and here with an external uh, magnetic field applied you can see this optical vortex analogy here. Now we will talk about uh, light polarization. Uh, the ferrofluid can, uh, can give this effect of light polarization when we apply the uh, external magnetic field. We discover this effect in this system. We obtained this effect in the system. Uh, as you can see here, this is a magnet. This is a fair fluid between a uh, polarizer and an anal analyzer. And when you displace the magnet, you can see the pattern following the magnet. So here, you can see another configuration of uh, uh, magnetostatics. In this case, you, you have one 
ma two magnets side by side, uh, a larger magnet, a smaller magnet. And this is the experiment. This is a simulation that we explained uh, ahead. And uh, this case is a light polarization pattern of a magnetic ring with uh, diametrically magnetization. And when we change the orientation of this magnetic ring, we see different patterns. Well, by inspection, we observed that some of these properties of light polarization are related to multiple diffraction problems and pattern formation. And we obtained in our system uh, hypergeometric uh, polynomials for the case of light polarization. And these patterns of light polarization are similar to the case of the Zernic um, polynomials. For example, here we have our system for the case of light polarization. And here is a magnet with uh, uh, a magnet with uh, actually magnetized field. This magnet uh, at the top of the ferro cell. And here we obtained the image of polarized pattern. In this case, uh, in the end, we have the simulation with the uh, e equations that we described before. Here again. And for this case, we have a simulation for a different configuration. Another case, with a, this is the pattern directly observed from the ferrofluid. And this one is the light polarization and simulation. We also observed the magnetochiral effect described in this paper. And uh, we give the explanation for the effect we, using the idea of the existence of magnetochiral assembly of nanoparticles affecting the light patterns. This, the permanent magnetic pole moment of the nanoparticles respond to an external magnetic field and the interaction between ferromagnetic particles depends on the angle that the interparticle vector makes with the external field. The consequence of this anisotropy is the emergence of optical chiral structures. And we can see here some patterns related with this magnetochiral effect. In conclusion, we studied this uh, optical vortex in ferrofluids and also obtained some results related to light polarization. This is our reference. Thank you.